next door to this facility, there's a huge state-of-the-art outdoor stadium with a retractable roof being built. Featherweight bout next for you, and it's a rematch. Shannon Wirachai against Mitch Chilton. fight with Shannon Wirachai ended in a little bit of controversy. I'm sure he thinks he won. I think the match was tops too soon. But I am definitely, this time around, going to leave no doubt who the winner is. To win the fight is to finish another chapter of your life. Every fight, I just aim to win. He feels he should have won. I feel it was stopped too soon. Uh, I think the fans want to see this fight again. And it's really time to put it all out there and, and show them who's the better fighter this time. He maybe go high on me and finish me early. But the last fight, he he's also wanted to finish me early and he couldn't. I'm ready to show everyone that I'm the better one. And I'm ready. It's redemption, you know? I'm sick of all the, the talk, the hearsay, the controversy. All that's gonna be put to rest. There's gonna be no question at the end of this contest who the real winner is. Mish the Dragon Chilson. Just train hard because I'm trained hard to beat you again. I hope you're ready because I'm ready. I'm bringing my A game and you better bring yours. We're gonna put on a show. In the blue corner, from Thailand, Shannon, one machine, we Two very nice gentlemen contesting this contest. It's a rematch. What happened in the first contest essentially was that Mitch got knocked down with a right hook in the second round. Shannon followed up with a soccer kick, which, rightly or wrongly, hadn't been given the go-ahead by the referee. Chilson looked to have survived it pretty well, actually, but then the fight was stopped, and some say prematurely so. All sorts of controversy then. Subsequently, it was ruled a no contest. And 1FC changed the soccer kick rules as a result of that. It's essentially open attack at all times now until the referee stops the contest. Yeah, I think that that fight really epitomized why we needed that rule change too. And that's that's um, a credit to uh, the team here at 1FC being able to adapt and, and say, hey, this isn't working, let's figure something out that is. Absolutely. Because it, it's really difficult when you're in the middle of a fight to stop the momentum of what you're doing. Look at the ref and go, it's cool now if I, if I kick this dude. We both agree it's cool. Okay, I'm going to kick him now. That doesn't really happen. And, and um, you know, that punch with Mitch, it, it's really hard to say because, you know, he got uh, he got punched and rocked, but he, he was back up really quick. I remember calling that fight, and I thought that that was an early stoppage. I didn't think that that was a, a good stoppage. Uh, it wasn't the worst stoppage I've seen, but, you know, I think that Mitch and, and Shannon really have a little bit of unfinished business here. Because this is one of those things that you can't get closure. You can't say, you know, that was a good fight, this happened, or I got caught. The referee stopped it. The only guy in there that doesn't have a say in your training or how you prepared for that fight is frustrating. Shannon Wurachai has fought since then. Both men have, actually. Wurachai fought Bashi Ahmed and, and, and lost a decision. He was outworked by the Pakistani. He does tend to start slowly sometimes been working with uh, Roger Huerta in preparation for this contest. Doesn't look as if he's about to start slowly there, does he?
the United States of America met the dragon Shelson. Shelson with the might of the evolved MMA gym behind him. <laughs> Loves to fight. Very engaging to talk to. The fight he's had since their original contest was against Nabdi Mulyadi. That was in 1FC 6, Rise and Kings. And he won by technical knockout on punches. That was in the second round. I still remember in the days of martial combat when he was a martial combat champion. He won by a knockout victory where he threw everything he had into a punch. So much so that he himself fell over. His opponent was out for the count. When he wants to, he can really bang. He does, and he has really good training partners too at uh, it evolved to bang with. In his last fight, he took Shannon down and was able to really control him on the ground. And then ate that right hook. But Shannon's got very good training partners also. I mentioned Roger Huerta working his corner, and he's over at Tiger Muay Thai, good camp. You see a couple of the Asian MMA camps that are really coming up here. Evolve making a lot of noise, constantly been making noise here in the Asian martial arts team. Tiger Muay Thai, Phuket top team. The evolution of mixed martial arts here in, in Asia, and it's just the explosion that we've seen. We talk about well-rounded fighters. Mitch Chills is certainly one of those. The BJJ Blue Belt, that's under Henzo Gracie. Uh, he's won Muay Thai belts in Thailand. He's got a good all-round game. As Jason said, trains with world champions in so many disciplines. Has plenty of respect for the sport and has plenty of fans here at Cape Side. Very relaxed, always, when he comes in the gym. And into the cage. Chilson is 11 years older, identical in height and weight. This is Thailand against the United States of America. Ladies and gentlemen, this next bout is three rounds in the 1FC featherweight division. And is brought to you by Everlast. Greatness is within. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Standing at 175 centimeters tall, weighing in at 65.8 kilograms with a professional record of two wins one loss and one no contest fighting out of burn shell team from thailand top thai mma prospect shannon one shin and introducing his opponent fighting out of the red corner Standing at 175 centimeters tall, weighing in at 65.8 kilograms with a professional record of four wins, one loss, and one no contest. Fighting out of Evolve MMA in Singapore, MC champion Mitch the Dragon Chelsea. And when the action begins, your referee in charge, Yuji Shimada. Why me is three rounds? No headbutting, no the growing, no grab the fence. Okay, don't attack back. Okay? That's my right too. Don't stop the face, okay? Three fights. Touch gloves. Okay, go back on up. chai against Chilson. Ready? This fight is brought to you by Everlast. Greatness is within. Wurachai leading with his right hand. Southpaw. Chilson, orthodox. Well, Mitch closes the distance right away. He's going to try to work it out on that single leg and try to exploit what he feels is the weakness in Shannon. He was able to take him down in his last fight fairly easily. 
and certainly bang Shannon. That's how he shot Mitch in their first fight. And uh, Chilson will be wary of that. Chilson is cut above the right eye, right in the corner, the outside corner. Could just be a little nick, but there's certainly blood there. Very early on that. To have to carry that for 15 minutes could well be a problem. Kick by by Mitch connected perfectly. Big right hand. He got stuck on that takedown. Looks like Roger Huerta has been helping Shannon with his takedown defense because he looks much better at, at avoiding those submissions. That gets frustrating too when your game plan coming in and we've we've seen it now. Mitch is trying to take Shannon down right out of the gate, setting up with some punches. When your game plan gets stopped like that, you know the thing you feel like you're the most confident to do. Oh, he got caught with an elbow. Oh, and there's the soccer kick that we saw in their first fight. It's open attack now, and it's over. The soccer kick to the head was a defining moment in their first fight, and it's the defining moment in their second. Chilson is conscious. But in discomfort, I think he may have hurt his neck. Shannon Wirachai gets what he came for. Revenge in some ways. Wasn't at all satisfied with the no contest. Showing concern, as you would expect for his opponent. I believe Mitch was talking. Let's have a look at this, Jason. Out of the blue. A little spinning back elbow there that just missed, but that left hook landed right behind the ear of Mitch. Yeah. And I think that that just put him on put him on an easy street, and then that left and right, right down the pipe. Let's take a look at it from another angle. Oh, yeah, that left hand just landed behind the ear. You can see Mitch curling up there, and that left hand straight down in the pipe was lights out. Behind the ear in the neck area, then two soccer kicks, and then Ladies two and punches in the ground. Referee Yuji Shimada calls a halt to this battle at a minute 52 seconds of your very first round for your winner by a referee stoppage to the strikes from the blue corner Shannon one chin with a chance. it's been a while coming for but finally, he's got the W over Mitch Chilson. Well, you can tell working with Brian Eversall, you see there in the, over his left shoulder, and Roger Ward is paying off. That high-level training really helps him fill the holes in his, in his game. He's done a great job of progressing, and I think we're going to see a bigger and better Shannon next time.